we want to consider the given function f of x on the closed interval from negative five to seven. We want to begin by finding the average or mean slope on this interval, which should be the slope of the line passing through the points when x equals negative five and x equals seven. Then by the mean value theorem, there exists a c in the open interval from negative five to seven, such that f prime of c, which would be the slope of the tangent line, is equal to the mean or average slope. So we want to find the values of c in this interval. Let's begin by looking at this graphically. The given function is graphed here in blue on the closed interval from negative five to seven. So the slope of this red line passing through the two endpoints on the closed interval from negative five to seven would be the mean or average slope. And then our goal is to find the x values on the function where the slope of the tangent lines would be the same as the mean slope or the slope of this red line. So looking at it graphically, we can see we should be able to find two values of c where the slope of this tangent line and the slope of this tangent line would be the same as the mean or average slope. So to begin, we'll find the mean slope where the slope is equal to the change of y divided by the change of x, where the change of y would be the change in the function values, which would be f of seven minus f of negative five, then the change of x would be seven minus negative five. To save some time, I've already found these function values. If we substitute seven into the function, we would get 64, so we'd have 64 minus f of negative five is negative 152, divided by seven minus negative five would be seven plus five or 12, this works out to 216 divided by 12. So the mean or average slope is equal to 18. 216 divided by 12 equals 18. So now to find the values of c, such that f prime of c would be equal to 18, we'll find the derivative function, set it equal to 18 and solve for x. Well, if this is the given function, then the derivative function f prime of x would be equal to the derivative of two x to the third, that would be six x squared, minus the derivative of six x squared, that'd be 12 x, minus the derivative of 48 x, that'd be 48, plus the derivative of eight, that would be zero. So we want to determine when this derivative function would be equal to the mean slope of 18. So now we'll go ahead and solve this equation on the next slide. Let's go ahead and set this equal to zero by subtracting 18 on both sides. That would give us six x squared minus 12 x, negative 48 minus 18, that'd be negative 66 or minus 66 equals zero. We do have a common factor here of six. Let's factor out six, leaving us with x squared minus two x minus 11 equals zero. But unfortunately, this is not going to factor. So to find our solutions here, We'll have to use the quadratic formula where a is equal to one, b is equal to negative two, and c is equal to negative 11. So we'd have x equals negative negative two plus or minus the square root of b squared, that's negative two squared, minus four times a, which is one, times c, which is negative 11, divided by two times a or two times one. So now we have x equals, this would be positive two, plus or minus the square root of, this would be four plus 44, that'd be 48, divided by two. And we can simplify the square root of 48. The square root of 48 is equal to the square root of 16 times three. The square root of 16 is equal to four. So this simplifies to four square root three. So we have two plus or minus four square root three divided by two. To simplify this, I recommend breaking it up into two separate fractions. We have x equals two divided by two plus or minus four square root three divided by two. If we do it this way, we avoid making the mistake of simplifying just these twos because we cannot simplify across addition or subtraction. This simplifies nicely to one plus or minus two square root three. And therefore we can say that c sub one 
guaranteed by the mean value theorem would be one plus two square root three, and c sub two would be equal to one minus two square root three. So these are the values of c that we want, but if we want to check this graphically, we should also get decimal approximations so we can more easily find the location on the graph. And I've already done that. One plus two square root three is approximately 4.4641, and one minus two square root three is approximately negative 2.4641. Now in our homework though, we shouldn't round these values unless we're told to. We should use the exact values. But now if we go back to our graph, notice here's where x is approximately 4.4641, where the slope of the tangent line is the same as the mean slope. And here's where x equals approximately negative 2.4641. Again, where the slope of the tangent line is the same as the mean slope. So these are the x values or the c values guaranteed by the mean value theorem. I hope you found this helpful.